Hi everyone and welcome to Education with Eleanor. This time around we're up to part four of the right hand grip rule for magnetic fields. So this time around we have a solenoid and we're going to figure out the direction of the magnetic field in a solenoid. Now something that's really interesting about solenoids is that when you've got a solenoid which is a loop of wire that's carrying a current, it will actually become an electromagnet. And we're going to figure out the magnetic field direction of this electromagnet. Let's get into it. Oh, don't forget, press subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos for physics, mathematics and science. And hit the thumbs up button if you like this content. Alright, a solenoid is when you have joined loops of wire together where a current is running through the wire. And it produces a stronger magnetic field. It's because every loop that you have... The magnetic field of each loop adds together and that's why you have a stronger magnetic field. Alright, we're going to draw five field lines to represent the resultant magnetic field of this particular solenoid. The first thing we need to do is just figure out the directions of the first loop. And then once you figure out the direction of the first loop, you'll be able to do the rest. Now, we need to know which direction is the conventional current. So, remember directional current always goes positive to negative. So, in this case, our conventional current is going to go from the positive terminal around and then back down into the negative terminal. That's how the flow of the conventional current will happen. And then the next thing we're going to figure out is, just for the first loop, which direction is the magnetic field? So, we know that at this point, the current is going up the page. So we'll get our thumb out again, our right hand, and we'll use the right hand grip rule. So, the thumb is going up the page, and on the inside of the loop, it's going to come out of the page, and then it'll go back into the page on the right hand side of the loop. So if I'm looking here, at the bottom here, it's going to come out of the page on the inside of the loop. And then, remember, we learnt this um, as we went around, it's going to come out of the page throughout the whole loop. So as I get my thumb, and let's say we follow the current all the way around the loop, you can see my fingers on the inside of the loop are coming out of the page. So that's how we're going to draw it. So it's coming out of the page at the top of the loop. And I'll just zoom in so we have an even better understanding of this, an even better view. Okay, so at the bottom of this loop, the same thing will happen. So we'll draw the magnetic field, and on the inside of the loop is going to come out of the page. Let's look at the top of the loop here. So once again, we'll draw our magnetic field. On the inside of the loop, it's going to come out of the page. Let's look at the bottom loop here. On the inside of the page, sorry, inside of the loop it's going to come out of the page. Let's look at the top. Once again, draw a magnetic field. On the inside of the loop it'll come out of the page. And then at the bottom of this loop, draw a magnetic field. On the inside of the loop it comes out of the page. And let's look at this top one. On the inside of the loop it comes out of the page. At the bottom here, if we draw it like this, on the inside of the loop, it comes out of the page. Now, if we look at magnetic field lines, we always know that the one in the middle generally goes very straight like this. Okay, and it'll go all the way straight through. Okay, now, if we draw another one, we can see that all the field lines here are going towards the left, like this. So if we were to join all of these up like this and then remember field lines loop back together generally so that's what's happening it'll come out and then loop back around towards the right and back in again so that's how that magnetic field line will work and you'll have the same one 
over on the bottom of the loop like this. Now that's only three field lines so where's the next ones? The next ones would be in between this one and the bottom field line so and they'll go in the same direction like that. Now they may not always loop around depending on your diagram they could look like this instead. And I'm going to draw it this way because um, we may not have room on the page to actually fit all of this in. But it's also sometimes when we take a section of the diagram not all of the field line loops will fit in. So this is five field lines that can fit in like this and this is the direction of our magnetic field. So in general it's going from the right to the left or going to the west. Now the next thing we need to figure out is which is which poles are the north and south pole because remember this solenoid is actually an electromagnet and magnets have a north and a south pole. To figure out the direction of the north pole or the south pole first you need to actually look at one of the sides of the solenoid. So what you're going to do is that solenoid will be here and you're going to rotate that solenoid and look at it directly on. When you do that the solenoid will look like this. It'll This long part here will come around and then it'll keep looping around and the loops will do this and it'll keep going all the way around and then go back down again. And on on the right hand side oops, whoopsie, on the right hand side the conventional current has come up from the positive terminal and it's going down into the negative terminal. And then if we think about it going through the loops, the current will go in an anti-clockwise direction. And if we we can draw this diagram here, so the current is going up and on the right hand side and then back down on the left hand side. And if we join that up you can see it makes an N. This is the north pole of the magnet and the magnetic field will go from the north to the south pole. Now you might wonder how do we know what the south pole looks like? So this time around our solenoid is like this and we're going to look at it directly like this. So I'll draw little eyes so that you can see that. So you're going to look directly from this direction. So once again you'll have a loop coming up and then it'll come around and then it'll go all the way around and back down again. And on the right hand side this time there will be a negative terminal and on the right hand, on the left hand side, there will be a positive terminal. So our current, conventional current, will go from positive to negative. And if we look at the direction of our conventional current, it is going in a clockwise direction. So if we say that it's going in a clockwise direction like this, and we join it like this, like a snake, can you see how it makes the letter S? And this is how we figure out if that is the South Pole. So let's zoom out and let's write some steps in. To figure out the resultant uh, magnetic field as well as the as well as the magnetic field lines and the North Pole, our steps are first look at the loops and figure out the magnetic field directions. And then step two is the solenoid. So you need to figure out the magnetic field so you can draw in the field lines. And then in step three, 
you'll identify the North and South Poles. In this question, we weren't asked to actually identify the North and South Poles. However, I've shown you so that you know for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video about learning how to figure out the magnetic fields for a solenoid. If you liked this video, press the thumbs up and also press subscribe so you can get more videos and press the hit, uh, sorry, hit the notification bell so that you can get more notifications on physics, mathematics and science. This has been Education with Eleanor. Thank you and bye.